Canada. That, that feels good. It feels good. You know, I don't want to uh, sound like I'm pandering, but I've been lucky enough to perform throughout the world, and I have to tell you, the best audiences are here in Canada. They really are. They are. And to be honest, to be honest, I say that about every country I perform in. <laughs> but it made you feel good. Yeah. That's why people lie. Because lying works. <laughs> I've had so much fun touring in Canada. Last weekend I was in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan, that place is filled with perverts. <laughs> They're all perverts. The capital is Regina? <laughs> That's not necessary. <laughs> Regina. They could have pronounced it Regina. <laughs> they did that on purpose, because they're perverts. <laughs> they're, everything in Regina sounds sexual. Their football team, the Rough Riders. <laughs> It's inappropriate. I'm just relieved their mascot wasn't a beaver. You know what I mean? It's not me, it's them. They're perverts. They're perverts. Regina is where the Mounties are, of course. That's where they train the Mounties to mount. Every Mountie has to go through Regina. It's, it's, just, it's just inappropriate, right? Even the most innocent thing said in Regina comes across wrong. Like, I can't ask like, hey, where can a guy eat out in Regina? <laughs> you know? I can't, that's them. I'm a good Christian man <laughs> trying to find out where a guy can eat out in Regina. <laughs> Did you know the original name of Regina was Pile of Boners? That's gross. That's gr and it's, by the way, it's the whole province. Saskatchewan, that sounds like an STD. My last boyfriend gave me Saskatchewan. Really? Yeah, now I have to take all this penicillin. Saskatchewan. You know, it's because of Saskatchewan that moose antlers are called a rack. Now you can't even give a moose a compliment, like, hey, nice rack! You'll be like, uh, no, lady, I, I, I was talking about the moose. <laughs> well, then that lady should know she looks like a moose. <laughs> I saw a moose. Have you seen him? I saw a moose in person. I mean, or in moose. <laughs> I, I'm a person who saw a moose. And I tell you, I don't, I don't feel like I was ready. I don't know how big I thought a moose was going to be, but I was way off. <laughs> I, was, I was way off. I was, it was huge. And I feel like I should have been warned. Like someone should have been like, you might see a moose, get ready. <laughs> but my friend was like, you might see a moose, have fun. Like it was a butterfly or something. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see a moose. So I was like in shock when I saw it. I was like, wow, whoa. Are they shooting a Star Wars movie up here? <laughs> How many people are in that moose costume? <laughs> At least three. It was huge. It was the size of like a transformer. It was gigantic. And then my friend was like, don't get close, it'll kill you. <laughs> what? At that moment, I realized my moose knowledge didn't exist. I knew nothing about moose. Like, my moose knowledge it comes from cartoons. In cartoons, moose are like, hey, how you doing? But in real life, they're like, I'm gonna kill you! How, how did that translate? 
Never hear moose in those animal songs, right? The cow goes moo, the cat goes meow, the moose goes, I'm gonna stomp you to death. <laughs> Did you know that the plural of moose is reginas? <laughs> that surprised me. I wasn't ready for that. I performed in uh, Lethbridge, uh, Alberta. Lethbridge, if you don't know anything about Lethbridge, don't feel bad. Uh, neither do people in Lethbridge. I asked them, I was like, hey, what should I know about Lethbridge? And they're like, oh. Like, uh, is there anything I should know about Lethbridge? Like, mm. Calgary's two hours away. Is this like a temporary city? <laughs> Did everyone just show up a month ago? <laughs> we got like a bridge. <laughs> a lot of those Western Canadian cities have a bridge that they tell you about. We got, we got the longest land bridge over a small ass body of water. <laughs> I don't know if you should brag about that. That, that sounds like a mistake. <laughs> uh, an engineering error. We got a highway with no exits. <laughs> that might be on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Kitchener. Kitchener, I, uh, at Schnitzel. Kitchener, or as I refer to it, Berlin. Because Kitchener is very German, right? Any Germans here? Yeah? That's about the extent of German pride. <laughs> it helps that we're in the dark. <laughs> I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> That's worldwide. I was in Vienna, Austria, and they were like insistent that they were not German. We're not German, we're not German. We're totally different. I mean, we speak German, and, and, and our, uh, you know, our culture's German, but, you know, and in every war we fought with Germany, but we're not German. I almost believe you. Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up, or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel, but also just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.